What's going on everyone? Thank you for tuning into today's video. Today I wanted to take a few minutes and show off my portfolio website. Now my portfolio website is not by any means perfect, but it does look good and it's definitely helped me in a lot of ways. It's helped me kick off my web development career. And if you guys are like me, you guys have probably built your portfolio time and time and time again. You know, I know that I have, this is, you know, this this feels like it's like my fifth iteration of a portfolio, but it's one that I feel very proud of. Um, I just wanted to kind of show you this this page right here. It's just, I, I call it slash links. It's very similar to, um, you know, it's very similar to Linktree. I want to show you my portfolio, you know, my actual website. So this is just the home page, and one thing that I really love about it is just the dark colors that I have on it. I really like how my logo is kind of faded there in the background. I've got some animations in there. As you scroll down, I show off just a few of my projects right here. You know, an option to show off two of them. A quick little thing about me. I know it's a uh, it's up for debate if you should put your face on your portfolio website or not. Some people say yes, some people say no. Personally, I don't I don't like it up here in the hero section. But I think down here, a little bit about me, I, I do like this section. You know, there's a little bit here kind of about my services. Now this website really is more for me to find freelance clients, you know, people that I can build websites for. You know, I've been freelancing for the last few years and, but I started coding a little bit again and I'm thinking that I might actually include, you know, some of my skills in here, you know, some of the things that I've built with code, React, JavaScript, whatever. Um, and a little call to action down here at the bottom, the footer. Some more navigation down at the bottom. Um, you know, go to the about page. You know, I really like the way just kind of this section looks. There's another, obviously, a picture about me. You can learn about me. This is just the same section that was there on the home page. Same call to action section. It's it's a very simple website, honestly. Like I kind of use the same sections over and over. But I think one of the things that makes it look good, honestly, is just the it's the animations. Um, they're not too much. They're not too jarring. They don't. You know, they're not very distracting. The colors obviously look good, you know, very good contrast. Everything is aligned. Um, and now these open up. Simple little smooth animations. Like it looks good, but it's not distracting. Um, and I think that that is really what you want to see in a website. So when you click on this, obviously you can read more just about these websites. I like to show off that it's fully responsive, because having a responsive website, we know how important that is. Um, a little bit more, just kind of some options right here. You actually can click on them and skim through here. Now, you might have noticed that this website was built in Webflow. And I've mentioned before some of the reasons why I like to use Webflow. One of the things that I just love about it is how much it taught me just about HTML and CSS. So you can see that it just it's a nice user-friendly dashboard where you can you can physically alter your website, you know, without physically writing the code and you can just start getting an idea of what you need to do, what box needs to go where, you know, what what's a row, what's a column, how big things should be, how much spacing should be on the heading, you know, how much margin should be on the paragraphs. Um, you can add dynamic items, so like you don't need to write any JavaScript, which I know that you are going to want to practice your JavaScript, but at least for me, um, going through the coding bootcamp was so intense that I was learning a lot, but it was hard for me to wrap my head around like, what is it that I'm learning? Like, what's the point of a for loop? And what's the point of pulling all this data and stuff? It was just, it was just confusing. And for me personally, taking a step back and building websites with these platforms just gave me an idea of how a website should fit together. This is where I get a lot of my design inspiration. Uh, let's let's check out like Maiden Webflow. So like you can come in here, we can search portfolio just for example. And if uh, some of them you can clone, some of them are private, but you can open all of them and just take a look. Like this one right here, this one looks pretty cool. Let's see, we just got a live link, open live website. See, this looks this looks good. So like you can come in here and just kind of get an idea of how things are broken down. Even if you're just trying to practice your coding a little bit, like this is this is somewhere that I like to come just to like get ideas. We'll preview this in the browser real quick. 
See, nice little pop-up right there. See, awesome work. But like, hold on, I didn't even cover like one of the best things. You know, one of the things that you can do, let me go in here, I'm just gonna pull up one of my projects, for example. It's like, I'll pull up my, another one of the reasons why I think that junior developers should use Webflow is although you're not physically coding it, it is, all the principles are still the same. You know, like you learn the box model of a website and even if you're going to become like a back-end developer, a lot of people will argue they don't need to learn design, but it's it's really, it's not, it's, it's hard to be a designer, but it's not hard to build a professionally designed website. And you can come in here and you can, you can actually export the code. I will admit it is a little bit messy. Um, you know, it can be a little bit complicated to kind of switch it from here to whatever, but you know, you're going to school to become a developer. Like this is something that you should learn how to do. And I know that, um, I feel like I got really good at HTML, CSS, you know, my design skills have just, they've improved a lot. You know, I'm not necessarily the best, but you know, like these designs are all done by me. They're all created by me. And I'll tell you they're, they're not perfect, but they're a heck of a lot better than what I was doing when I first signed up for a coding bootcamp. I wish that I could show you some of my previous work because I, when I went through the coding boot camp, I was the worst student in my class and I struggled more than anyone else did. And I, I thought many times that, you know what, coding's not for me, programming's not for me, you know, maybe I should do something else. But I'm glad that I stuck with it and I, I'm, because I finally have work that I'm proud of. I have something that I can show off. So let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Let me know if you agree or disagree on using Webflow. Oh, I also have my videos on here. If you guys wanna see some of my videos that are not on the rest of my YouTube channel, you can come in here um, and check this out. This whole section kinda of looks like garbage, but just don't even mind that. I appreciate you all for tuning into today's video. If you guys got any questions for me, leave a comment down below. You can shoot me an email. Obviously, this is my website, joewebdesigns.com. So go here shoot me a message. You know, I love to hear from you.